Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Everything Business. Thank you for joining. All right, so now we know that um, Section 9, um, Roles of the Government, will be tested by CSEC this year, and therefore, I will give you a crash course in Section 9. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so what are the roles of the government? Now, countries may vary as it relates to, you know, um, the roles of the government in various countries across the Caribbean or across the world, but there are some basic um, functions or roles that is common to all governments. And so the first one is to maintain law, order, and security. And governments across the world maintain law, order, and security through um, their local police force or the army, right? Then we have strategic um, economic planning and what does what this basically mean is that you know the government must always seek up seek for ways to to improve or to grow the economy right and um, they can do this by investing in sectors of the economy that 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 that, that there's potential for growth like even agriculture mining exporting all these things would would, would boost economic growth right um, the government is also responsible to provide jobs um and social services to citizens right um yeah it is their their responsibility to do that they should also protect the environment right they should also maintain a safe environment for investors they should create an environment that people will want to invest in your country because you know that investments in the country right will stimulate economic growth and it will eventually cause economic development that will benefit the country and benefit the citizens of the country all right then you have regulation of business activity right it is the government's role to regulate how business activity is um carried out in a country now how can a government influence businesses to protect the environment so first and foremost the government can create environmental laws right there are many um laws that that are created by um governments right to protect the environment in jamaica we have nepa Right, which is the National Environmental Planning Agency. That's an agency, though, that um, seeks to carry out or to enforce the government's environmental laws. Right? Um, governments can encourage businesses to dispose of their waste appropriately. Right? They can provide um, avenues where businesses can dispose of their waste. They can run ads to encourage business people, right, to dispose of their waste appropriately. They can create you now zoning laws. Now, zoning laws, right, uh, when we talk about zoning, we're talking about specific areas, right? Um, the government will dictate, dictate specific areas where development can take place. So, for example, they will say, okay, this type of development cannot take place here because it will harm the environment, right? And that is what we mean when we say zoning laws. They can create policies on green technology. Now, green technology, right, is basically, um, you know, investments, in 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 technology that will benefit the environment or you can say technology that are environmental friendly right so they can create and invest in green technology and that is how they can encourage um, or influence businesses to protect the environment <laughs> now let's talk about taxation it's a very big topic in section 9 right now what is taxation taxation is really the main source of revenue for the government now, taxation comes from the word tax. Now, a tax is a compulsory payment to the state, right, by businesses and individuals that is charged on property, income, and the use of goods and services. All right. So, what are the purposes or the functions of taxation? Right. One of the main purpose and the obvious purpose is to what? To raise revenue to finance government activities. Let's face it. The government needs money to operate, and so. Um, the citizens of the country have to pay tax because that is where they get their main source of income from, right? Um, to remove competition from local goods. So what will happen, you know, is that um, the government will tax foreign goods, right, um, heavier, right, so as to, 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 to discourage foreign goods from entering the country um, and to boost locally produced products, right? to redistribute income right so the government will use taxation as a tool to balance the playing field so to speak right 
um, to redistribute income uh, to ensure that wealth is distributed evenly across citizens in the Caribbean and so what you will find happening is that the more wealthy or the more affluent persons may be taxed heavier than persons who are of a lower socioeconomic background right and so that is in that in doing that the, the government can um you know level the playing field as it relates to the distribution of wealth and the redistribute income the government also used taxation to discourage undesirable habits like smoking drinking gambling right um cigarettes cigarettes um, and alcohol and um, casinos and these places are taxed heavily because they want to discourage these undesirable habits right so we move on to methods of taxation right now we basically have two types of taxes we have direct taxes and we have indirect tax and indirect tax um you have two types of indirect tax basically so it can be specific or it can be ad valorem right now when you say specific it simply means that you know it's a fixed amount that is charged on goods and ad valorem right it means that there is a percentage that is charged on goods so if the the cost of the good is higher then you know the the the, the, the um the the the, the, the amount when the percentage is calculated it would be more while with the specific then is a fixed amount that is charged whether it, the, the, the cost of the good is high or low it's just a fixed amount all right now direct taxation now direct taxation is a tax that is charged or levied directly on individuals or on companies right um, some examples of direct tax are dreaded income tax right corporation tax which is what the companies will pay Right. Income tax is really what people pay, um, you know, people who, who, who are in jobs, they will pay income tax and small businesses like sole trader businesses will also pay income tax, right? Capital gains tax and capital gains tax is, is, is for example, you, you buy an asset, right? A capital asset, uh, uh, you buy a business or, you know, you pay capital gains um, tax and then you have transfer tax. As the name states, you know, if you are transferring of, of an asset, you, you inherit something, right? You have to pay tax on that too, right? Then you have indirect tax, right? Indirect tax is the opposite of direct tax. So direct tax is charged on individuals and businesses. And it is important for you to, to remember that, right? While indirect tax now, right? It is charged on one person, but it is collected and paid by someone else, such as a retailer. Um, so in layman terms indirect taxes are charged on goods and services so if you want to remember indirect tax just remember that indirect tax are charges are charged on goods and services while direct taxes are charged on um, individuals and businesses so some examples of indirect taxes are like custom duty right so that, and that's for persons who like import stuff yeah you have excise duty, you have value added tax and general consumption tax, which is the, the, the more common one, right? So you guys would be familiar with the general consumption tax. Right. Now, how can government or the government assist businesses? Right. So many governments will try to support businesses in the following ways by providing an environment that is conducive to economic growth. So government can sometimes, you know, um, provide a, a, a good climate for investment right they can lower the interest rate for example and that will boost investment because what that means is that more people will be borrowing money to start businesses because they know that um the interest rate is lower right and so that's one way that they can provide a conducive economic climate that will stimulate economic growth and business growth by the promotion and maintenance of competitive markets right that is another way how the government can assist businesses right in some countries i know that for example in jamaica if you register your business right you the business or the, 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 the government will help advertise your business on um its website the company's office of jamaica right and in 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 other caribbean countries it would be the registrar of companies whatever the registrar of companies is called in your country but in jamaica it is called the company's office of jamaica then i have trade promotions right um providing information to business about foreign markets and the trading opportunities right so basically you are giving small business owners um information that they can use to to market their product you're, you're giving them 
uh, uh, information about the market out there, showing them the opportunities that are out there for them to capitalize on. And that is one way that the government can assist businesses. Some governments set aside special areas for industrial development, right? Sometimes accompanied by subsidies and grants, right? Now, subsidies and grants are basically um, money given by the government to help to assist or to offset costs of businesses, right? And so the government can set aside special areas um, for industrial development, right? And that can encourage um, people to operate and to create um, businesses. They can also provide technical assistance, right? And that will help businesses, right? Now, what are some of the impact of social services that are provided by the government? So some of the social services provided by the government, one of which is health care now the government will provide health care through clinics hospitals right and then what what are the the, the, the the impact of providing hospitals and clinic well you will have a healthy population right um another social services national insurance scheme right so it make provision for people um to 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 live after they have retired right after they have moved from the labor um, from the labor force, right, the government will make provisions for them, right? And so in Jamaica, we have what is called a national insurance scheme. In your country, they may have some form of insurance scheme, right? I don't know what it is called, but for in Jamaica, we have the national insurance scheme, right? And it provides, um, you know, security for the elderly, for persons after they retire. Also, um, another social service provided by the government is education. And obviously, right, this social service is very um, beneficial to the country, right? Because if you drive education or invest in education, right, then you will have an informed and literate population. Also, another social service provided by the government is roads and transportation, basically mobility, right? And what that does is it gives people um, and businesses access to goods and services and so it, 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 it enhances trading it enhances moving and mobility of people within thank you very much for viewing what good